Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my everyday look. Um, and if you'd like to see it, please keep watching. Okay, so to start, I already have my setup here. I have a little mirror that I can see myself because I am super blind and I cannot see anything without my glasses. So work with me people here, I'm gonna try. Um, so what I like to do usually is start off with my moisturizer, which I already applied before this video and then let that set in and also a little bit of primer, which I already did before this video and let that set in as well. Uh, once that is all set in, I like to go in with my um, brow pencil and the one that I use is from Benefit Cosmetic. This one is my Holy Grail. It's a goof proof brow pencil and it's in the shade number 5. So it's a double ended um, stick. Um, it has like the pencil and then like the spoolie brush. Um, so we're going to go in ahead with this and take off my glasses and see how I do without it. Let's see, maybe this one. Okay, there's no way that I'm going to be able to do that. So give me one second to get a little mirror so I can look up closer. I'm back. So I have this smaller mirror because I'm literally blind like I mentioned and I can't see anything. I'm great. My pencil fell on the floor. <laughs> okay, luckily it was closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline my brows. I haven't done my brows in like such a long time due to this whole pandemic. Um, I think I, the last time I did my brows was like in March. And I've just been plucking them away because I'm so scared to actually go to a brow place and like have people like touch my face and all. So I've just been doing it by myself. So don't judge me y'all. So very light, you're going to outline the brows to your preference. Mm. This is like one of the steps that takes so long for me because I like that super arch and dark brows. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. So I'm just gonna lightly brush them with the pencil here in the front as well. And I already have um, full brows to begin with and they're pretty dark, but I just like it to be like super sharp. So then I go with the brush and I just bring push my hairs up just to make sure the lines then I go bring them down again so that's that I'm gonna do the second brow for some reason this brow here on my left it's like I don't know, I feel like a little bit thinner than my right. So every time I finish with my brows, it looks like one is thinner than the other and it's so annoying. My brows usually look way better than what they look like now. But like I said, like having done brows in such a long time that I'm working with what I got okay should be even let me see okay so then just to have that extra sharp look and clean and fresh look on your brows what I like to do is I go in with my concealer, which I'm using Tarte Shape Concealer in the number 27H Light Medium Honey. And I'm gonna get like a brow brush like this. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of concealer on the brush. And then 
I'm just gonna outline them on the top. You don't need to put a lot of concealer because then it's gonna look too fake and then it's not gonna look as natural. You want them to look. Just apply a little bit. Then I'm gonna I'm out, outline the bottom of the brows. This is where I actually apply a little bit more because I haven't plucked them in a week so they're growing in. Well sometimes the concealer does help to hide them. So that's good. And then if you wanna put them in front you can do that as well. So give that sharp edge. I remember the first time I did my brows, I did not like how they came up, came out. And like I literally gave up that same day because I just couldn't get it to work. And then, you know, practice makes perfect. And um, once you get the hang of things, then obviously it comes to you so much easier. But I used to make them so dark that um, I look like a freaking clown because I would have like such a bright eyeshadow and then just dark brows and it looked, it looked horrible. And I like to put concealer here so I'm already there might as well. Okay. So those are my brows. Hold on. Not liking this part right here, but Okay, so these are my brows. They're done. That's awesome. Like when they're done because I know I'm almost done to my makeup. So then the next step is I'm going to get a Real Technique um, blender. And then I'm using the Mario Badescu, um like setting spray. I love the lavender set. Um, it's amazing. This is my favorite one. And these are my favorite sponges. They do the pretty much the same thing as um, a beauty blender in my opinion. Just the beauty blender is a little bit more expensive. But... You know, not everybody can afford that, so it's reasonable. Um, so then I'm going in with my foundation um, from Clinique, the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Um, this is in the color um, Buttermilk. So, I like this foundation because it's like a stick. And then you just apply it on your face. Unlike you have to like pump. Um, with other foundations on your beauty blender, this is just more easy to do. So that's that. Bunch. I'm just gonna blend the foundation out. And I'm a blender. I like to blend as much as I can. Because I hate getting like that cakey look or like that dry look um, on your face. And just blend your life away. My hands get so tired sometimes because of how much I blend. But that's how you have a flawless makeup look. And then where the concealer you put on your brows, you're just going to go with the sponge and you're just going to wipe it out off. I usually do the same thing too when I have eyeshadow. 
the same steps. It's the same thing I do with eyeshadow, just that honestly, you do the eyeshadow first, then um, you do the foundation mask. I mean, at least for me, I know some people don't like that, but this has been my routine for like years, and I'm just so used to it. And whatever you have on top from the concealer, you're gonna get the edge of the blender and then just follow the your arc. And that way everything comes out smooth. the Tarte Concealer to put them under my eyes. I have like these veins and I hate it. I don't know why. Just put a little bit in the same blender. I'm going to go in and just tap tap and blend as much as you can. You just want to do a gentle you don't want to be too rough because then it could crack the, the concealer. a translucent powder I have this powder from Mac I have no idea what it is or what's the name of it there's like literally nothing on here that's how much I've used it um, but I know it's from Mac it's a really good um, powder then you're gonna go with the same sponge and just apply a little bit under your eye so the concealer can set with the powder This um, powder doesn't give you that um, w white under eye effect. You know when you take pictures and then like sometimes you can see like the white powder. This one doesn't and I'm glad because I've had used others before and it's done that and I used to hate it. Because then you would have to like photoshop your picture for it not to look like I forgot to take it off. I like this to put powder everywhere because my skin gets to get oily. It's a, my skin is actually a combination dry and oily, which I get a lot of oiliness in the T zone, which is um, usually what peop where people get oily. But I just like to have a matte finish look. I always like that. I'm not into like the glowy type of skin look, but to each his own. Okay. Obviously, I would put, if I was to go out, I would put um, um, foundation on, on my neck because obviously it's a different color. But since I'm not going to go out, I'm not doing that. Um, now I'm going to go and just get an eyeliner. I think how I feel like some days I want to do just a wing liner and some days I just want to put um, simple eyeliner under my waterline um, so today I'm just gonna do simple water eyeliner on your on my own waterline
and this one's from L'Oreal Inflatable. It's a 16 hour wear eyeliner. And I'm going to put a little bit of blush just to pop my skin a little bit of color. This one's from Milani Cosmetics and this is in the color Harmony. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush and tap out the accents. And then just going to smile. Let's make sure I didn't put too much. Not doing it. I think that looks fine. Then for the last step, I like to go again in with the My Badisco and just spray some to refresh my face. Okay, now that that's setting in, I usually do like a chapstick or like a lipstick. But for the purpose of today's video, I'm just going to do a lipstick. That way... It's really nice. So I'm going in with a ColourPop lipstick, and it's the name is called Quickie. It's like a nice brown nude color. It's like perfect for this weather. Um, such a cute color. I love it. This is my final look. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below by either subscribing, liking, commenting, any of that sort. Um, I'll be happy to hear any suggestions, any ideas you have um, down below as well. And until next time, bye!